this video, we're going to talk about using the advanced filter in Excel VBA when you have both AND criteria or OR criteria. So what you see here is the finished product of what we're going to build today. I have a data set over here in columns A through E of multiple loan records. One of the columns is loan type. Another column is the branch location. Over here in O and P, I have criteria for my advanced filter. Right now it's set to business and branch three, and you can see the results are displayed here. If I were to change this to auto and then branch number one and run this query button, what you will see is a new set of results here in the middle. So I'll click this and there it is. The loan type is auto and the location is branch one. So the first thing we want to do is hit the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window anywhere in this project window. I'm going to right click, go to insert and then module. We'll call this subroutine my filter and we'll begin by declaring some variables here so the first one is going to be called WB for this workbook it's going to be as the data type workbook I'm going to have another one called WS which represents the sheet we're on now so it's going to be as the data type worksheet we're going to have several range variables uh, the first one is just going to represent the range we want to filter on. So we'll call this RNG. It's going to be as the data type range. We're going to have another range variable. We'll just call this C range. It's going to be as the data type range and it represents our criteria range. Finally, we have one called O range and that just short for output range where we want to display our filtered results so all of these are essentially object variables so they need to begin with the keyword set so I'm gonna reference my workbook variable and that is gonna be equal to this workbook I'm gonna set our worksheet variable that is gonna be equal to our workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and the sheet we're on now, which is sheet one. We're gonna set our range variable. That is gonna be equal to our worksheet variable we just created, and then range. And this is gonna represent the range we wanna filter, which is everything in columns A through E. So we want this to be dynamic because we might add new records to the bottom of our data set. So I'm gonna reference just A1, the beginning of this range, and then use current region. And what this will do is if I click in cell A1 and hit Control A, it selects everything, all the adjacent cells in this data set. So that is exactly what current region does in VBA. So this is completely dynamic now. So now we want to set our criteria range, the criteria we want for our filter. And I started with a blank canvas here. So um, I know we want to filter on columns B, the loan type, and columns E, the location. So when you're dealing with the advanced filter and you have a criteria range in VBA, the main requirement is that your headers for your criteria range match the column headers you want to filter on. So I'm going to copy these headers and maybe over here in O and P, we'll place them over here. And for now, I'm just going to input some random criteria. We'll just say auto and branch number two. So that is 01, 
is the starting point of our criteria range. So we're gonna set our criteria range variable equal to our worksheet variable range 01. And again, we're gonna use current region because we might add new additional criteria below this and we want that to be dynamic and pick up all the adjacent cells. Finally, we have our output range variable we want to define and that's just the range where we want the results of our filtered data to begin and be displayed. I want it somewhere in the middle of the sheet. I think H4 will be good. So when you're defining your output for the advanced filter, you really only need a single cell and it will just begin at that single cell. So we have our worksheet variable and then range and H4. Now, thinking ahead, we're gonna be running our filter multiple times and before we display our next filter, we wanna clear out the data from our previous filter that begins in H4. So the next line of code is really just to clear out our previous filtered data display. So we have our output range, and then again, we wanna get the current region because that's really an unknown. We don't know how many rows of data there's gonna be in our output range because it will change with our filter criteria. So we wanna get the current region again, and then use the clear method to clear that out. So now we're ready to write the code for our advanced filter. So we need to reference our range to be filtered, which is our RNG variable. And we want to use the advanced filter method. And once I hit space from here, we get a set of two options. Filter in place is the second one. You can't see the first one because of this little help menu, but if I hit tab, it'll select that first option. We want to filter and copy that filter. The next argument is our criteria range, which is gonna be our C range variable we created earlier, and then the next argument is the destination range. So that is going to be our output range variable. So this should be everything we need for the advanced filter. So I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to link this to a macro button. So I'm going to go up to the developer ribbon, go to insert and select this first option for a button here. I'm going to draw this in here. And as soon as I do that, it will, the next thing that will appear is this assign macro button. So I'm gonna select the subroutine my filter that we just created, click OK. And I'm gonna right click and edit text. I'm gonna change this to maybe just the word query. And when I run this, what we should see beginning in cell H4 is a filter results based on the criteria we see here which is auto loans and branch 2 and there it is so currently what we have here is an and condition we have the loan type being equal to auto and the location being equal to branch 2 now what if we wanted an or condition we wanted any auto loan regardless of branch or all the different loan types from branch two. Well, instead of putting them right next to each other, I would copy this down here and delete it out here. So now what we have here is an or condition. So now when I run this, you can see we have either any law auto loan regardless of branch location or any loan type at branch 
two. So you can see we have business or mortgage loans, but those are only for branch two. So that is the difference between an and criteria and an or criteria in your criteria range when you have an advanced filter. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.